One of the big ideas in physics is that light can behave as waves or particles. And this demonstration of the photoelectric effect is a really great way of introducing that idea. What I've got here is a zinc plate. And if you want the demonstration to work, it's absolutely essential to give it a good scrub on both sides with a bit of iron wool. And that just removes the surface oxide layer. I then place the plate on top of this gold leaf electroscope. I've also got an ordinary desk lamp and a UV lamp. Now in order for the demonstration to work, this plate has to be negatively charged. And I can do that using the method of charging by induction. Now let me show you that again. I've got a Perspex rod here, which I can make positively charged by rubbing with this bit of cloth. I bring the rod close to the plate, touch the plate with my finger, remove my finger, then remove the rod. Now watch what happens when I shine visible light onto the plate. Absolutely nothing. That's actually a really important part of the demonstration. Your students need to notice that with visible light, nothing happens. But watch what happens when I shine ultraviolet light. You can see that the gold leaf immediately starts to fall. And that must mean that the UV light is somehow discharging the electroscope. We know that we started with negative charge on the plate. So the UV light must somehow be releasing the electrons. And the important thing to notice is that it's the frequency of the light that makes a difference. Remember, with a visible light, it doesn't matter how bright it is or how long it shines for, it doesn't release any electrons. Now, this phenomenon cannot be explained using a wave model of light. But we can understand it if we adopt the idea that radiation arrives at the plate as packets of energy, which we can call quanta or photons. A single photon of UV light can release a single electron from the plate. However, a single photon of visible light has less energy and so cannot release an electron. Now, this is a relatively simple demonstration to do, but it took the genius of Albert Einstein to explain what was going on. And it was for that work that he was awarded the 1921 Nobel Prize, not his work on relativity.